guys, welcome to another episode of Chalet Corner. I'm Pat. I'm Gwen. I'm Paul. Tonight we want to go over a couple more items here in the store. We've got a brand new mod that I know you guys were waiting from last week. Here it is right here. It's called the Steam Pump. Mm -hmm. We have brass, black, and stainless. We also, for our atomizer, our rebuildable we're going to go over, is the fogger. This is an authentic item, direct from Yeloom. Uh, for our accessory tonight, uh, there next to Paul, we've got a case that will hold many of your items that you're using, like yeah. your mods and juices. I think it fits in box mods. Yeah, it does too. box mods too. Mm -hmm. And then for our juice, you'll want to stay tuned for the next segment will be 24-7, made by Interstate Vape. That's one of your favorites, isn't oh it? Oh, my God. Yes. Yeah, this, 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 kind of an understatement. Yeah, right? I, I don't know. Yeah. Really? Really? Yeah. Name 24-7, last name, Paul Ross. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of I don't think they make... Uh, it's got me tongue tied. They just can't make it up. <laughs> I, just, I can't. Up. I really can't. That's the bottom line. So let's take a close look of the steam pump. We'll do that first. So let's take a look at the different colors. Gwen's got the brass steampunk and if you see the details it looks like it's machine gears it's extremely extremely well designed absolutely love this because the intricacy it looks like somebody just took something and they just really kind of carved on it and they engraved on it really tight so then as when is on doing the top cap we wanted you guys to see that the contacts both in the top cap and in the button are 100 percent copper and then you see there, there's two little screws like some of them, some of the other mods have. There's one to adjust for the 510 pin. Then there's also the other one that's for the battery rattle. So let's take a look at the button. The button's a unique design because it looks like it's recessed. So that way when you set it down, it's not going to fire. And you see the beautiful name there says Steampunk. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the other colors that we have. We have not only the brass, we also have it in black. And you can see the same detail, the same design. And again, all of these mods have the 100% copper connections and the copper button. So that's the black one. Now let's take a look at the last one, stainless steel. Again, beautiful design. It's just, I can't believe the, the intricacy that these guys did when they came apart. And yes, they're clones, but they're an amazing, amazing design. Okay, so now we've got, finally, let's take one last look at the brass one. We actually connected the fogger, which we're going to go over in just a second. It's just a gorgeous thing. And actually, the, the juice that's in there, it actually looks brass, too. That's, so that's kind of cool. Thanks, Wayne. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I don't know, Paul, you've got one over there. Yes, what? I do. What do you have, uh, what atomizer do you have on that? I have the Brass Delaire. Man, that's gorgeous. What do you think of that? How long, you, we've had these in the shop maybe, what, maybe two weeks or so? Yeah, something so. like that. What do you, yeah. how do you, how does it hit? Does it hit it like hits a, like a freight train, man. Like. I can't hear it from here. But. I think Chuck's, it hits pretty good, huh? Oh, it does. Out of some of the other mods that we've covered, how do you compare this with uh, some of the other ones? I... I like this compared to, how do I compare it? I can't really compare it. Well, the Paragon. Paragon, yeah. yeah. It is good. It's got the copper contacts. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, how does it feel in your hand? I mean, it's, it's solid, man. Like, it's it, it's not like a, it's not too heavy. Mm -hmm. Of course, I have bare paws. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it's not that, it's definitely comfy. If I can describe holding a mod like driving a car, it's like a Lincoln. You know what I mean? It once you hit fifty five, it you know your profile. Oh, you sound like a commercial one. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't feel like it can fire. Right, right, right. It's not well, that's because part of the design. And that's one thing about the the engravings on this. This is yeah. Oh, absolutely. Deep. It's like its own grip. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's got uh, they have a. The 51 there is part of the symbol for the steampunk. And then, of course, we also looked at the closer look that Wynn showed mm -hmm. was the uh, the, steampunk the steampunk name. Right. So, yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. I love the way they look. I like the lock ring. 
Yeah, the locker room is a unique function. Yeah, yeah not because I have like I have ones just like you know my Paragon. I always you know, but this is much easy to to open and close. Mm -hmm. It doesn't jam up on me. Yeah, and I like that feature. I really do. Okay, compared to the others, the mechanical map with these ones, you won't be in trouble if you leave it like like this because it's under. Right. Uh, it's recessed. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah, I got you. So you don't have that fear. Yeah. Exactly. No auto fire. <laughs> no auto fire. Wait a second. No, that was just me. <laughs> so it's. I think it's an incredible cloned mod. Yeah. It's incredible. It's good. It is. So let's take a look at the fogger. Um, this is the fogger V four point one from Yiloom. It is an authentic. It's a great tank. Uh, as oh, far as a rebuildable. Yeah. Sometimes I can hear from customer. Say something like, ah, I don't want a dripper because I don't have the time for, right. I'm driving all the time, blah, blah, right. blah. So this is a tank. And also it's rebuildable. So I, I think it's awesome. Yeah. It's a good idea. So viewers, always keep in mind, don't drip and drive. <laughs> that's really what, the, that's that a great slogan, okay? And if it's already been trademarked, I'm sorry. But if not, it's mine. <laughs> uh, but definitely for, for traveling and all that jazz, mm -hmm. You know, it holds, what, five mils of juice? Five mils of juice. Yeah. Five mils of juice, people. You can probably go... About an hour. An hour or so. Vape. Well, yeah. The way you vape's about an hour. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, you get a lot of a lot of bang for your buck with five mils of juice. Without <laughs> having to hold the wheel with one knee. Yeah, and try to... And try it. to... <laughs> at a stoplight, no, looking no, up and doing all of this. You know, not that I know... How that is. Okay, oh, yeah. so you're telling me you haven't fractured a law by taking your hands off of the wheel like everybody no, no, else, no. talking on the cell phone. <laughs> no, oh, I, I, I have just, no angel. Instead of talking on the cell phone, you're just trying to drip and drive is what you're trying to do. So now you no, actually don't have to do that now that you have a fart. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you was telling us about the, um, about the flavor, it's intense oh, the flavor. Oh my gosh. I remember. Yes. Uh, I noticed that in my fogger it pulled out other accents of the flavor that I never got off of my dripper. Mm -hmm. So it made me appreciate the juice even more mm -hmm. and appreciate the atomizer too. So let's take a closer look at the fogger now that yeah. we've been blibber blabbering about it. Fair let's take a closer look at it. And here's the box that our fogger comes in. As you can see, it's got the Yi Lung symbol on it. So remember, if you guys are make sure you don't get the clones, you want the authentic. And here it is. It's got the fogger on the side of it. All right, so here it is. Here's our Fogger V4.1. It's got a removal drip tip. Like Paul said earlier, it holds five mils of juice. So let's go in for a closer look. Here we have our tank. It's Pyrex glass. And we have our chimney. One thing that Paul was talking about a few minutes ago is the flavor. And a lot of you guys know that coming from a dripper, the flavor comes straight up and it's open. One thing about the Fogger that it has, it's got the little chimney. Uh, the chimney's here, this is the chimney cap, or the top cap. Uh, what it does is it channels the flavor up into here and it kind of condenses it a little bit more. So that way it changes the profile. Okay, so we'll take our cap off and let's go in for a closer look at our deck. And here it is, and as you can see, we can set up for two coils, uh, one here, one here, and then what you'll do is you'll raise these little screw heads and you want to wrap around here, wrap around that side, and flip it over, and then you can do it again. And then, of course, we mentioned earlier about our adjustable airflow. And here it is on our ring. Some of the version 2.0 or 3.0, some of the other foggers that they had, they didn't have those. It was either open or closed. So there you go. So let's put this back together real quick. Oh, let's put our chimney back on. Oh, and you also want to look very close. We've got our fogger 4.0 name. That's another reason, make sure you get the authentic. Some of the clones are kind of crappy. We've looked at some of the clones. Um, as you, a lot of you guys know, we do carry clones here in the store, but this is one that we do not because we've checked them out and we do not like them. Okay, there you go. And there is the stainless fogger. So that's a closer look of our fogger. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you guys how it hits. I've got my airflow all the way open. So it's like Dixie Chick style, wide open spaces. I got gotcha. you. That man stayed focused. Even after your comment about wide open. 
<laughs> Gee, thanks. You're welcome. Really, when are you two supposed to take care of my light work? None can though. Uh, I figures. What else? So anyway, so that's a closer look by far. <laughs> so let's go into our accessory for tonight. Uh, as Paul's got, we've got our mod case. Very nice. Or and actually, you can see. Let's go in for a closer look. Okay, here's uh, the close up for the carrying case. This is one example how we can use it. This space is for the box mat here. It's another one here. Couple uses, batteries, and mats. Also with the Addy on the top. You don't have to break it down, just through it. Here, you can hold it, and the zipper. So that's, a, that's cases are awesome. I, I mean, love uh, it. I've got one. And I, I do Paul, too. I know you set yours up. Mm -hmm. How many? How many mods do you have by now? I think the last count was like five. You have five mods. <laughs> yeah, I think I have five mods. Holy crap! The question I have for you is: do, Is it big enough to hold all of your juices? Probably not. No. Because you, I'm sure you have a lot of juices. Yes, but as far as you know. What you need during yeah, the day. Well, yeah, whatever I need during the day, yeah. it'll fit. Yep, yep. Yeah, I mean, it's cool because you can carry, if you want to change mods, you've got mm -hmm. your extra batteries, you've got all of your juices. I, I think you're even, uh, you're talking about thinking about getting a box mod. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's what that one's for. <laughs> so there's two of them in there, Paul. Just in case you have one in each, one for the each of you. Yeah. My Paul's Collector. need boxes, <laughs> all right? <laughs> So I'm going to start a Kickstarter called Boxes for Paul's Paul's. Exactly. So go ahead and catch that. So let's go on to our juice. You want to stay tuned for our... Before I do that, I want to bake. You guys, we've been baking on this juice. I, I, need, to, I need another hit of my juice. I, know I, you have, that this I is have my own room. bottle here yeah. uh, with my had, name. She, yeah, she had to put her name on her bottle because... And rub it all up in my face talking about ninny ninny boo boo. <laughs> she accuses us of vaping her juice. Yes, yeah. so, so she had to go no more mistakes. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Exactly. There you go. Just go to clouds. So you want to stay tuned for our second half of our video, where we talk to Interstate Vape, the makers of 24-7. It's a, what's the profile on that juice, Paul? That is butterscotch with vanilla cheesecake. And for my big brothers out there, you know you like some cheesecake. <laughs> and you know you like butterscotch. Don't lie. Don't lie to me, Craig. Don't lie. So it weird. is delicious. It's like a buttery oasis in your mouth. For real. Come down. Come down. Come down. Easy Paul. Come Easy down. Ball. Come Easy down. Ball. I can't help it. I love this. You juice. got him riled up. We got him talking about 24 7. <laughs> because he's a custard guy, I as well. I'm a custard guy. How many bottles of this have you gone through? I, I lost count, Pat. I'm not even. I'm you not. I'm just going to stop not. asking you that question. Yes. Don't ask me a question. question. It is a loaded question. It's a loaded question. Loaded with 24 7. Loaded. Yeah, this <laughs> so, so, stay tuned next week. What we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna step away from doing our typical mods and juices and addies. We actually got some uh, many customers that asked for coil building, uh, so we're gonna go over a toolkit that we put together. I searched high and low. I mean, I don't know about you, Paul, but I've looked for some. Oh yeah! Types of tools. Oh my goodness! So we developed a toolkit, yeah. and we're gonna go over that and teach people the way we help people here in the store mm -hmm. to coils. Stay tuned for next week's episode of. Chalet Corner, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our page. Please. And remember, as always, smoking is definitely prohibited, but vaping is, is always, always encouraged. encouraged. Have a good night, guys.